are changing earth earthquakes and volcanoes movements on the inside you know that inside the earth there is a lot of pressure and heat which makes even rocks melt the magma makes the tectonic plates move very very slowly which is why we have a continental drift you remember all that don't you how fast are the tectonic plates moving very very slow in fact they move at the speed of roughly 25 or 50 millimeters a year we don't feel this motion at all movement of the plates plates can move in different ways they can move towards each other they can move away from each other they can slide against each other the crack along which the plates move is called the fault can you see the fault lines stress develops along these fault lines let's see how this stress develops and what happens then stress on the crust the heat from the magma and the pressure from these movements puts a lot of stress on the earth's crust the earth's crust can bear it up to a certain limit only let's understand this better take a wooden stick and hold it this is like the normal state of the earth's crust note where the fault line is start bending the stick this is where the strain starts to build up it builds up along the fault line as there is already a break there the stick breaks this is where the stress becomes too much this is where it shakes this happens to release the stress the strain is released this is where the broken stick and moved plates again have low stress and now are stable the plates are moving all the time so new stress builds up again and when it builds up to breaking point there is a release through an earthquake again earthquake as the tectonic plates are constantly moving the ground is moving all the time that means earthquakes are happening all the time too scientists think there are about 5 lakh earthquakes each day happening somewhere on earth people don't feel most of them because the earthquake may be too small too far below the surface or deep in the sea some earthquakes are so powerful that we can feel them thousands of kilometers away too the place where the rocks start to fracture and break apart is where the earthquake starts the place where the earthquake starts is called the focus or the hypocenter of the earthquake the shaking of land or vibrations start at the focus of the earthquake and travel in all directions these vibrations or waves are very powerful they make the land shake and cause a lot of destruction the focus of the earthquake is deep inside the earth 
the point on the surface directly above the focus is called the epicenter. The greatest amount of damage because of an earthquake happens in areas that are close to the epicenter. A strong earthquake can cause landslides, tsunamis, flooding, broken dams and bridges and many other disasters. Many people die or are seriously injured in an earthquake. Phone lines, water pipelines and electric poles are sometimes completely destroyed. At many places, fire can break out which can destroy many things. Think and discuss. What is an earthquake? What makes an earthquake happen? What is the damage that an earthquake can cause? Before an earthquake strikes. As of now, scientists cannot predict earthquakes. They are studying them in detail and hoping that they will be able to someday. Earthquakes can happen anytime or anywhere. But you can prepare for the unpredictable with a family safety plan, emergency kit and supplies. If you live in an area where earthquakes are expected, build an emergency kit. Plan a family meeting place. Know the safe spots in every room. Practice what to do. When an earthquake strikes, if you are indoors, drop to the ground. Try to take cover under a strong table or some heavy furniture. If there is no such place, cover your face and head with your arms and crouch near an inside wall. Hold on until the shaking stops. Stay away from windows, glass, lighting fixtures or furniture that could fall, like bookcases. Stay inside. Do not use the lift. When an earthquake strikes, if you are outdoors, stay there. Move away from buildings, streetlights and wires. Stay out in the open till the shaking stops. When an earthquake strikes, if you are trapped under debris, cover your mouth with your shirt. Do not scream. That will make you breathe in the dust. Tap on a pipe or a wall so that rescuers can find you. Think and discuss. Name three safety measures that you should take if you are indoors during an earthquake. Name three safety measures that you should take if you are outdoors during an earthquake. Measuring an earthquake. Earthquakes are measured by an instrument called a seismograph. The base is set in the ground. The heavy weight hangs free. When an earthquake hits and the ground shakes, the base shakes too. The free hanging weight doesn't shake. The shaking is thus recorded on the paper. The Richter's scale is used to measure the magnitude of an earthquake. Earthquake intensity on Richter scale 1 to 3.5 we usually don't even feel these. 3.5 to 5.4 We feel these but they don't cause damage. 5.5 to 6 Strong buildings may show slight damage. 6.1 to 6.9 Damage around 100 kilometers away from epicenter. 7 to 7.9 Strong earthquake with serious damage. 8 or more Very strong earthquakes 
damage over huge areas. Trying to predict an earthquake. As you know, scientists still cannot predict an earthquake. However, some people feel that animals understand the changes that happen before the earthquake and their behavior changes. They say that other strange things happen just before an earthquake. What do people think some animals do just before an earthquake? Dogs keep on barking continuously. Snakes and rats come out of their holes and run helter-skelter. Fish try to jump out of the water and come on land. What strange things do people think happen before an earthquake? A sudden drop or rise in the water level in wells. Strange bulges that suddenly appear in the ground. Think and discuss. What is the instrument used to measure an earthquake? How does it work? What is the unit used to measure the intensity of an earthquake? What is the level at which earthquakes start being destructive? A big blast from the earth. In 1980, there was a big blast in Washington from Mount St. Helens. The blast destroyed 370 square kilometers of forest in minutes. It threw particles 32 kilometers high and huge rocks that were as heavy as 8,000 kgs almost a kilometer away. The blast was so strong that it knocked off the top of the mountain. What was this blast? This is called a volcano. How does a volcano happen? Magma is found beneath the earth's crust in the mantle. Rock melts because there is a lot of heat and pressure under the earth's crust. Along with the magma, there are some explosive gases too. You know that the earth's crust is not one continuous solid piece. It is made up of many pieces that fit together like a puzzle. Because of this, there are many cracks or holes in the earth's crust. The magma heats up and cools down and moves in the mantle. This constant movement causes the plates of land on the crust to move. All this causes pressure to build up in the earth's crust and mantle. When the pressure in the mantle is too much, it finds a way to reduce. To reduce, it has to come to the earth's surface. It comes to the earth's surface through cracks in the crust. When magma finds a way to escape from beneath the earth's surface, it creates a volcano. Volcanoes also give out ash, dust particles and carbon dioxide, sulphur, methane, nitrogen, etc. All volcanoes do not come out with a blast. The ones that do are called explosive volcanoes. In some volcanoes, the lava pours or flows out slowly. Such volcanoes are called effusive volcanoes. Effusive volcanoes cause less damage because people have time to get away. However, whatever it is, flowing lava burns, melts and destroys everything it touches including farms, houses and roads. Volcanoes in the world There are 
many huge and tall volcanoes in the world like Mount Etna, Mount Vesuvius, etc. A lot of volcanoes are along this belt called the Pacific Ring of Fire. This is the area around the Pacific Ocean and also where the tectonic plates meet. You can imagine that there should be a lot of cracks where plates meet through which the magma could burst out and cause a volcano. India has only one volcano. It is on Barren Island in the Andamans. Think and discuss. What is a volcano? What are the two kinds of volcanoes? What damage does a volcano cause?